Hi everyone, Rishi this side. Here's a quick tutorial on how to cut out an object from the image in the Figma itself. Usually I prefer using Photoshop to do such kind of tasks, but let's say if you don't have an access to Photoshop, you can try to take a cutout in Figma itself. So let's see how it's done. So this is the reference image and maybe we want to cut out this character from the image. So let's zoom in fairly enough in the image and let's take our pen tool so there are two ways to do this one is laying out points and precisely matching the curves of your character or of the object whatever you are trying to cut out from the image and another way is this is a bit tedious one but it gets the job done flawlessly every time i use the same thing in photoshop as well so let's zoom in a little bit more and let's just start putting points not too far from each other let me show you what i mean so something like this you can see i'm not making any intentional curves from the points i'm just laying them around pretty close to each other and don't worry about the hard edges we can deal with them later once we are done with our tracing path let me just speed up the video for you okay so our path tracing is done so you can zoom out the image use the selection tool and let's just double click to deselect the path and just make sure that your corner radius should be equal to somewhere between 1 to 2 depending upon the details and depending on the kind of output you are expecting you can use from 0.5 1 or 2 pixel corner radius so what if we give 1 pixel corner radius you can see the sharp edges has been smoothened out now the next step would be we'll rename this path layer to mask move it underneath the image and let's give it a fill it can be any fill and let's just group these two and convert the bottom layer into a mask as you can see a character has been cut out one more layer of detail you can add is select the mask layer and add an effect called layer blur so what it will do it will just remove the harsh edges from the image so by blurring the edges of our mask we are softening the cutout right now it's a bit too much we can reduce it to maybe one pixel so let me just turn it on and off and you can see the difference right right now it's pretty sharp now it's a bit smooth cool so in any point in time you feel that you know you need to uh, fix your path or you need to make some changes you can always Go into this edit mode press enter to edit the vertices vertices sorry and if you feel like doing some adjustments here and there you can do it so this is kind of a non-destructive way of cutting out items once you are happy with the output just hit command shift c or go to edit for ps png so now your image has been copied as png you can just paste it here by pressing command v or control v our image has been cut out now you can use this image in any layout or any design wherever you want to use it let me just show you an example here i've already made a game card info where i want to use this image i can just paste it in here let's just turn off the clip content and let's just create one more mask using rectangle tool make the bottom of the image flat ok 
really tough so i hope this quick tip may help you if you don't have time to use photoshop or if you don't have access to photoshop check out my other tutorials where i have used these character cutout pngs and converted these into a cool hover effect in figma thanks again bye bye